most of y'all have heard of Pattaya. In fact, I think everybody here knows of Pattaya. But guess what? Pattaya is not a province like Bangkok, Chiang Mai or Phuket. Pattaya is actually just a city within a province called Chonburi. And yet they hold the second largest amount of foreigners and tourists just after Bangkok. And it's the number one weekend trip destination for locals in Bangkok. So what makes Pattaya so special? Or what used to make Pattaya so special before COVID struck? Let me review Pattaya for you with my patented Kong Da Help Desk Trademark 6 point review. Of course, whatever footage I take of Pattaya in the present is hampered by COVID already. Lah. So I'm going to have to dig in the YouTube archives to show you a little bit of before and after comparison. Accessibility. Okay, think about it. Uh, 62% of Thais in Bangkok own a car. Where did I get that figure from? I made it up. Uh, but that's not the point. The point is that, right, it's actually very easy for Bangkok dwellers to take a weekend or even an evening 1 hour 30 minutes ride east to Chomburi to just chill and unwind. What to see? The difference between Pattaya and other beach cities is that Pattaya is connected to mainland Thailand or other beachy places such as uh, Phuket or Koh Samui are island themselves. But that doesn't mean that there's no island over at Pattaya city. For this amount of money, you can take a boat ride to Koh Lan and the beaches are really quite kick lah. Frankly, there's quite a few things you can do at Koh Lan. It's not so boring lah. It's a uh, more interesting and more beachy Pulau Ubin. Uh, you'll be wise to rent a motorbike and uh, just dig around over there lor. So let me show you what I did over at Koh Lan. Check. Feel like nicer, ah, the... <laughs> Pattaya floating market. Temporary close, but if it was open, it would look like this. After all, this is about Chomburi, not just Pattaya. So another place that you can go is the Bang Sen Beach. So why do I recommend Bang Sen? Let's just say that occasionally, a huge group of Siamkians with their modern vehicles will go there and uh, have a meet. And when they have this kind of gathering, right, normally also got Siambu. And then the Siambu will be on the car with the fucking LED lights. Then they will over there go and dance. So why not lah? I mean, you over here means you like Siambu, what? Must well go there and see, right? Okay lah, not gonna tease you anymore. Let me go find some examples, something like this. Seven Eleven. Let's try to see. Uh, no, they don't have anything interesting here. It's basically Bangkok 2.0. What to do? Another thing Pattaya is famous for is walking street. Two kilometers of raw sexual tension. I mean, it's totally dead now, lah. But I can show you what it was during its glory days. And till to now, everything's closed. In fact, it was so empty that actually just now uh, when I was walking right, I actually got stopped by the police and then he asked me what I was doing uh, over here. He probably trying his luck, uh, you know, if I idiot, then he probably can slap some stupid charge on me then get uh, some kopi lui. Lo. What to buy? Shopping wise, we have two of the biggest franchise over here, Central Festival Pattaya and their very own Terminal 21. Eh, but lan jiao la, you know, you come Pattaya is to chill on the beach, not to shop, so I won't be going much into it. What to eat? 
Come to Beach okay. City, obviously is to eat seafood lah. But there's another thing that Pattaya is known for to the local Thais that you might not know is that it's a legendary cafe hopping spot. How I found out about this was when I was asking some Pattaya girl to intro me cake shop, you know like the legit birthday cake kind right? Then she gave me a list of like 20 cafes cause she thought I wanna go and eat Atta's cake and take Instagram pics. But you know like after I scroll through some of the cafes, I legit quite impressed. So I call this the Kachakon's curated list of QT Cafes 2021. Well, if you're Siambu, bring me there, then I'll definitely do cafe hopping la. and since i'm not sponsored right if it sucks i will say it sucks ah. for now i also don't want to judge too early i just show you how some of them look like only cafe slash restaurant slash bar that i almost went is the glass house went to the restaurant beside it though so uh i guess the views more or less also the same la. but hey it really looks quite nice ah. overall that's about it for pattaya i mean no choice lah covid i cannot really travel much ma, bo bian. yeah so see you next time la. bye Fuck off. Hello, if you enjoy my content uh, and you want to see more, uh, you can consider subscribing as a way of supporting me uh, so I can continue making more content. Anyway, also free. But alternatively, you can join my OnlyFans to receive exclusive merchandise and exclusive naughty videos that confirm me can on other websites such as Facebook, IG, or YouTube.